welcome to the eyebrow video, the tattoo eyebrow edition. Yes, I've used this already. So in this video, we're going to be talking about eyebrow tattoos for baldies like me. <laughs> so I'm going to test two different brands. I'm going to tell you what I think and how well they do during a Zumba class. Yes, I just finished teaching Zumba and one of them was already on my face. So if you guys are interested, then keep on watching. If you don't know me, I'm Elena. I usually do makeup reviews, tutorials, uh, drug makeup looks, all kind of stuff. Check it out later. I was on Painted with Raven Season 2, available on Wa Presents Plus right now. So let's get right into this uh, eyebrow tattoo review and placement. I'm going to show you everything. <laughs> so let's get right into this. So before I start, I want to ask you to subscribe if you haven't yet, if you're interested in my other stuff or this stuff, uh, press notification bell so you get notified, you know, all the stuff like this. Anyway, so let's get to it. I saw some people on YouTube applying these suckers, uh, actually mainly Naomi John. I've been <laughs> watching Naomi John, I don't know, have no idea how YouTube recommended me Naomi John no idea but i've been entertained by her she like mostly has now food reviews rather than beauty products but it's very funny and like she's a funny girl i like her but anyway um she tried this before and i'm like this is genius so she actually shaved her eyebrows because she actually does have eyebrows and i don't almost none like i literally have so few hairs left it's not even worse to, like try to groom them because <laughs> they're like a few in between and sticking out different directions so i just shaved them off and we're gonna test this so i found two i mean i found many on amazon one of them i returned because i didn't pay attention and they were black and it didn't have any other color but black. I received it, I looked at it, didn't even open it, and I'm like, oh shit, it's black. So it went back to Amazon. And then I found two more, and they were like brown and ash brown. So I found one, and I'm gonna talk about the first one that you're gonna see first, not these, the first one. Uh, that one is called Bliss and Beyond USA, and I got it back of 12. I think it's 12 and these are dramatic Los Angeles style and I got them I think it was brown but these were $13.99 and it's a 12 pack which is a great deal so then I saw something else and these are called brows by Bobsy so that's the ones I'm wearing now and these are a low price here because it's only a 10 pack right I just like, I can't count. Yeah, it's 10. I'm just counting the picture. And 10 pack is $14.49. So it's a little pricier, but you can buy a multi pack. They have like many of them for like 40 something dollars, but you get like a lot. But I calculated it and it's a better deal. So if I really, really like them, I'll be, get like a multi pack next. And they have different styles. So when you look, these are called upward. So it's like it's brushed upward, which I like. Like I like this kind of look. But they have like natural styles um, with like hairs growing up and down. Well, you have to look. They have like different shapes. So you can watch me apply all these things. And you know, the first try and the second try, all of these videos, I'm gonna be sweaty with no makeup on because we're testing it in Zumba. I sweat like a pig when I teach. I mean, I sweat. So my, my makeup stays, but my eyebrows usually kind of go a little bit, so I kind of like pat them, but I, I sweat. So this is the best test you'll see. <laughs> if my sweat, if it survives my Zumba sweat, it's great. So let's get into the try on. Well, this is Friday night, so I'm filming this so I can use it tomorrow morning when I teach Zumba. So hopefully it's not gonna be a fail. So I got here the guide. Never done this before. I did have eyebrow wigs on my channel. <laughs> I'm going to link this somewhere here. You'll see me apply eyebrow wigs. That was from Amazon too, I think, or AliExpress. Either or. But <laughs> they're definitely a wrong color, wrong shape. But that means they're bushy little creatures. They look like they're alive. They're gonna fly off my face. <laughs> that was not good. So this instruction, it says cut through the package. So I'm gonna use my manicure scissors. I'm gonna cut this out. I don't know, like it says cut through the package. 
and it's like you can cut through this. I don't want to cut the eyebrow itself. I think we should be safe. So you cut each brow separately so you can uh, transfer. So this is what it looks like, each eyebrow. Obviously the back comes out. I think there is like a little film. Oh, I see. So this side goes to the eyebrow and this side is a guide so I can see where to put it. Actually, it's pretty decent color and it's a very nice shape. I like it. Place a stick on the eyebrow, ensure it's positioned correctly, even apply, it looks natural. Uh, wipe with a soggy towel or cotton pad. So I've got a little bucket of water here, so I'm going to use paper towels. Bucket, it's a measuring cup. I have my little spray bottle with alcohol, so I'm going to use alcohol first, make sure it really stays. Unless I don't like it, and I'm going to be in trouble. <laughs> Uh, apply brow tattoos before bed for perfect dry look in the morning. Oh, perfect! I mean, it, it's 6 25 p.m., but you know. So, I'm gonna wipe this. So, I'm gonna remove the film. I'm scared. I'm scared I'm gonna F it up. Get the mirror a little closer. <gasps> it worked! It worked, but it's very dark, like very dark. And it looks very strange. It doesn't look... Why is it so weird looking, huh? Like this... This curve does not look right. It wasn't like that in the paper. I think I moved it. I don't like this. I don't like this and the tip is too short. I like the tip to be a little longer. I wonder if I pull it. <laughs> it's coming off! Oh my god, I think this one is gonna be a dud. <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> oh my god. All right, let me try to remove it. I knew something's gonna go bad. Well, this is the first attempt. My cell water, see if it's gonna come off. So I spared you the whole removal process, and this is the second take. And if it looks the same, it means it's just not the right shape for me, but it kind of looked like it was going to be the right shape, but... It like transfers too quickly, and it still has this stupid thing, like why did it look so arched? I'm going to try the other one on the other side, just for the hell of it, but I think it's not the right shape for me. I mean, it does not look like this, does it? Well, let me apply the other one, and then I'm gonna ask my husband what he thinks. It's not like super shiny, it's shiny a little bit. The other thing is like, I don't like this tip. I think because your face is curved, that's why it looks more of a arch, and on the paper it's a straight line, I think that's what it is. Because the paper has no arches in it, it's just flat 2D. Your face is 3D. Let's see what happened here. Oh, I'm supposed to go like this. Yeah, you know? It has the same curve, so I don't think it's me. I think it's the him. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I don't think it looks that nice. I don't think I'm gonna be able to wear it too hard. It looks too weird. John, come see. Let me see my husband's opinion. Come look, see what you think. We need a live opinion for YouTube's. <laughs> Come in the front so you can see the full elegance, extra elegance. Awesome. <laughs> awesome, you like them? I think they're too dark, too harsh, and too short. I mean, it's a look, but you know what I could do tomorrow? I could add a little bit of a thicker tail, longer tail, and call it a day, but they are a little bit too dark and a little too thick. Like, when you look close, you see all the hairs, right? Like, on the paper, you can see all the details on all the hairs, but when you look at me, it's like you don't even see much detail anymore, you just see like the line, but I think if I powder it, it might look okay. I think I might keep it and see if I can save it tomorrow. Welcome to day two, and it's Zumba. I just came from Zumba. Anyway, I was teaching the class and obviously this thing lasted, it stayed, nothing came off completely, so it is not a fail, did you work? No sweat took it off, and 
the air condition at the gym where I work, excuse the noise, my husband is making lunch, but the air condition is like, eh, it's all iffy right now. And it was hot and it's still there. The other thing is I drew those uh, details myself and because I didn't like the shape. So I kind of concealed the actual tails and I drew my own tails. So when I remove it, see, it's still like very short. So this is a disadvantage. So they do work, but if you get this model, uh, Dramatic Los Angeles it's called, and the brand is Bliss and Beyond USA. I don't know if they have different types, like on the paper it looked perfect and on the paper you can see the hairs right but on me you like from here you only see the straight line you can't really see individual hairs only when you get like really really close you'll see the hairs and to me the whole point of having this uh, tattoo stickers is so they look nice the way i draw them myself with a pen but if they look like a straight line what's the point right so that's a no for me but so we got a second attempt in the voiceover because it was early in the morning and i was sleepy and i didn't feel like talking so there you go these are the bossy ones and these are the ultimately the best ones i ended up liking uh the same process the alcohol for the cleaning of the skin and then we apply the eyebrows and by the way i can tell you now as a future update it's been like a week or so and i've been wearing them the last about two three days each pair and they're fabulous i absolutely love them so these are real winners so this is a future later here for the eyebrow update so as you can see that you last i just added a little longer tail with nyx brow pen and brunette but this has been 48 hours but this is my second pair i did a zumba class today and i rode my bike to it and from it that's about two hours of riding in 85 degree heat 85 degrees and yesterday i rode about two hours too for in the same kind of heat and that was like with eyebrows and makeup and everything and everything stayed nothing peeled not a little tiny thing peeled off so my tip to you would be to make sure you use alcohol on the skin very very well and yeah and I'll allow it to dry naturally and don't apply any moisturizer don't use any makeup remover over the brows obviously because you know it's going to remove the oil no oils no oils no moisture so uh, whenever i moisturize i moisturize like this around them and they'll last the freaking last i'm so so happy with this so like a highly recommend so let me know what you guys think have you seen this on uh, social media or well, obviously there have been some videos on youtube but have you tried this from amazon like i'm curious i think it's great for people like me that have literally almost no eyebrow hair so you can actually shave the rest but i don't think it's gonna work over the existing eyebrows because it has to be like a flat surface to stick to and if you have your own eyebrows i mean i can't I can't imagine it just stick to like the hairs too. It was, it's gonna be a mess. But if you have no eyebrows, this is like, it's genius. It's absolutely genius. So let me know, leave me a comment, like this video if you enjoyed it, and do subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't yet, and ring notification bell so you get notified of all new videos I upload. And I'm gonna go shower now because I'm stinking disgusting. <laughs> I need to finish this video. So I love you guys. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.